Let's transition from all the spring talk and uh, we'll transition in into our, our next topic. And that is none other than the daunted transfer portal. You know, Clemson, you know, we get tons of players from the transfer portal every single year. You know, we, we just we just load up in the transfer portal. Can't wait for the new uh, transfer portal season uh, to pop off. But no, in all seriousness, um, the transfer portal is coming. It opens up April 15th um, and it closes April 30th. Um, and I think for graduates, it closes. Or is it 15th or 16th? I thought it was 16th. I looked at it said April 15th. It officially opens April 15th, closes okay. April 30th. And then for grads, um, it closes on May 1st. So. All right. For graduates. So. April 15th to April 30th, the portal will be open. Um, now, let's talk about it from a Clemson standpoint. We talked about several positions, Jordan, during our breakdown of the spring game that are very deep with a lot of talent. Now, unfortunately, what that could mean is our roster today doesn't resemble our roster come, you know, May 1st. Uh, when the calendar turns, right, and the and the transfer portal season is over. We could lose some of these depth pieces. We could lose a starter. Um, you know, who knows what's going to happen come transfer portal season. What I will say is I definitely expect for Clemson to lose some players to the transfer portal uh, post-spring. Um, it happens almost every single year. We tend to not lose a ton of guys, but we we lose some every single year. Right. So yeah. um, what's kind of your I guess your gut feeling, your thoughts on how much Clemson's roster will be affected by this transfer portal? I know we're not going to make any predictions on who's going to transfer and name any names or anything like that. But just kind of general thoughts on, you know, the transfer portal window in spring and how big you think it may or may not affect the Clemson Tigers and their roster. Yeah, um, it's it's definitely a, a very big thing to consider. Um, you know, I I think Clemson has done a good job, you know, navigating this, uh, you know, this aspect of the transfer portal uh, era, you know, as far as retention. And, you know, they haven't lost a ton of, you know, players that ended up being, you know, especially when you look at where they ended up and how they played at other schools. You know, they haven't really lost a ton of big time uh, players. I mean, I can't really think, I mean, Darian Kendrick is probably the best, but he was kicked off the team and wasn't going to play for them. You know, obviously he wasn't going to play for Clemson because of that anyway. Right. Um, yep. There's not a whole, I mean, there's not a whole lot. I mean, TJ Dudley looked good for Ole Miss, but he, again, he was basically kicked off the team uh, and he, he looked good like in the bowl game. Um, I think he'll end up being pretty good. Kevin Swint had a decent year at Georgia State. Like I'm, I'm just I'm kind of thinking of the the names. Um, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, uh, Jay mentioned Andrew Makuba. Yeah, that's that's probably been the biggest like just true transfer portal loss that yeah. Clemson has had. Um, who else? Joseph Charleston didn't play much here. He ended up having a decent decent career at Mizzou. Um. Can't really think of anybody else. Levante Bentley played some for Colorado, but didn't really have a, you know, he couldn't stay on the field. Yeah, there's just there, there's there's really not a there's really not a lot. Um Jordan Williams play started for Virginia Tech for a couple seasons. Yeah. And Niles um, Pinkney for Minnesota. And do those even really count? Because those that was when did they transfer? I guess that was technically the transfer portal era, but you know, they neither one of them were going to play that much. Yeah, I, I, I just, I just wanted to go through the names. Like, there's, there's not really, you know, Ches Malusi. Yeah, Malusi. Um, yeah, uh, I was thinking Malusi. about him. Um, um, Feaster. Well, we don't talk <laughs> about that one. <laughs> um, uh, and you know, realistically, that wasn't a big loss because you know he was stuck behind Travis Etienne anyway. Um, yeah, we we had Travis Etienne in the room. Being so. a, he, yeah, he was. 
he ended he was okay for South Carolina, but you know, I just never didn't live up to his five star billing. I mean, so I just again like the Clemson has not really suffered many. The, mo- the most disappointing thing about the whole uh, Fegan thing is like the number that he got to wear while he was at Clemson. Yeah, yeah. And then CJ Spiller, and, you know, and then he his number, and know, then he left like, for that school. It's yeah. like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like talking about, about yeah. that one. Um yeah, man. I, I just I, I can't think of many like yeah, they're they're really at, like the, the transfers that Clemson has lost, it has not tended to really, you know, pan out or or you know it it, it wasn't like there's never been what I you know, I, I forgot to mention DJ. I mean that's probably the, that's probably the second biggest transfer portal loss. Um right. Or maybe the big – you could say he, he was the biggest because you use your starting quarterback. I mean, from a production standpoint, you know, that that was a loss. Um, but, yeah, that's not – there. there's no – yeah, yeah it, it just really – and uh, there just really hasn't been a whole lot of, you know, transfers that, that, that Clemson has, you know, has, has lost where you, you, you say, man, we – Especially when you, when you say when you you know see how the season played out, and you're like, man, we could have used him this year. I just, you know, don't really hasn't really happened yet. No. Um, so Clemson does a pretty good job with roster retention and 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 keeping guys around uh, for the most part. Uh, you know, especially guys that are contributing. Uh, but you know, I don't. I don't think we'll we'll get away with it unscathed. There'll be some guys that that transfer. Obviously, um, I don't expect anybody big, or yeah, I definitely don't expect a starter to to up and leave Clemson. Um, that that would be that would be truly shocking uh, to see that happen. Although, obviously, not out of the realm of possibility. But you know, it's. I think we're in a pretty good spot. You know, hopefully, we don't. Um, yeah, hopefully nothing crazy happens. Uh, we don't have some sort of mass exodus, which I don't assume would happen. Um, now, the the next question that people will ask is: Clemson going to bring in any transfer portal players um, this spring? And that's a question that is going to have to. You, you, there, there's one answer to default to until pro- proven otherwise, and it's no. But uh, no. <laughs> I, I do think that um, – I see David Wood asking about – oh, uh, asking about Kobe Pace. Yeah. Oh, Kobe Pace, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he was good for Clemson in, in 21, but, you know, was injured in 20. I mean, he didn't – he was like Virginia's second. So he was like their third down back. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, again, just not really oh, – obviously, Phil Moffa, Will Shipley – you know, they weren't, you know, they were clearly your two best guys anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I, as far as the, you know, Clemson adding pieces in the portal, it's it's going to be a no until I until I see otherwise. Um, but I do think they need to be prepared to address losses because, yeah, you know, I, I, and I, I think with this, I think the biggest thing with this, um, this portal cycle is, it's is shaping up to be a pretty wild one, um, mm-hmm. and so I, I would just, I I would just suggest to to um to all fan to all Clemson fans to just be prepared for surprises. <laughs> like like I said that I this you know this program has done a good job at player retention and all of that, but. I think th- there's this cycle is kind of unique because of the uh, you know you can transfer without consequences and we'll talk about that a little bit later and mm-hmm. there's just going to be a lot of movement in general this cycle uh, across college football and yeah. I don't I'm not convinced that Clemson is going to be totally immune to that so be be prepared you know just for a surprise or two um, not not because I have any like I have any insider knowledge and I know somebody's leaving, but uh, just it's a you know in this era of the transfer portal, there's no there's no reason to believe that anybody you know is is safe. So be be prepared for the worst, and obviously you can't be disappointed. Uh, so we'll see. 
Yeah, absolutely, man. Look, it's transfer portal season is going to be interesting. Like I said, I fully believe Clemson will lose players. How many? You know, I'm not really sure. Um, how significant? Hopefully, nobody of significance. Right. But you know, there's always that possibility. You know, money talks. I mean, some of these some of these programs out here are spending far more money than uh, than Clemson could uh, spend um, to get players. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Obviously, at certain positions, if people left, I saw somebody mention, you know, what if Chris Vizina were to transfer? Obviously, Clemson would have to address that in the in the transfer portal. Like we would have to add some sort of quarterback depth in the transfer portal. Like you you can't go into the season with two quarterbacks. Like that's not like it's not good to go into the end of the season with three quarterbacks. You know, typically you got, you know, more quarterbacks than that. However, you definitely can't do it with just two. Um, and, and one of those, you one scholarship quarterback, that's what you're going into the season with. Uh, that's not going to happen. Um, so again, if it was a position like that, I would feel comfortable saying Clemson's probably going to have to do something. They'll be forced to, because, you know, there's, there's no high school recruiting between, you know, now and, and, you know, fall and, and playing games. So you would have to address it in the transfer portal, but outside of, you know, some sort of mass exodus or a lot of players leaving or at a particular position where we're already thin, I would say that Clemson's probably not going to add anybody via the transfer portal. Um, they may lose a couple, you know, people who aren't contributing or don't like where they're at on the depth chart. And, you know, that'll probably be where we stay again, complete speculation, but yeah, trans much like the Clemson offense, the transfer portal for me and Clemson is I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, you know, if we add anybody via the transfer portal, uh, awesome. Um, but I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Uh, we have a massive uh, Chris Stevens, man. Wow. Uh, with a massive super <laughs> chat, $50. We, we greatly appreciate that, man. Um, Thank you, man. Thank you. We, we I appreciate really that. appreciate that. Um, gives us a Bible verse, Revelations 3, 8, and go Tigers. We appreciate that, Chris. Um, and uh, thank you for supporting the show, seriously. Like, we we don't, you know, ask you guys to, you know, you know, we don't beg for, for support over here. So any any kind, you know, generous uh, donations that you guys make are, are, are greatly appreciated, seriously. So, Chris, we, we greatly appreciate that. 